My sister's final for the future theories. In this one, the fate of Ida and the Owl Beast. We already knew the Collector had history with the Owl Beast, but we've now learned from the trailers that it was the job of the Collectors to preserve different kinds of life. We've seen an example of this in Ida's dream from knocking on Hootie's door, as the Collector had caught the Owl Beast after hunting it for some time. He kept it from getting away by trapping it in a curse, but then he lost it somehow and it made its way to Lilith. Now fast forward to the trailer again, and the Collector sees the Owl Beast. You look fun! Wanna play? Ida only becomes the beast once the collector says this, implying the owl beast can remember him and is coming out because it's angry. Later, we know that Ida's trapped in the castle, presumably in this cage, as King asks to go check on the owl beast, the collector finally having properly collected it. Shortly after, I think King sneaks through the bars and tries to go check on Ida. The coven heads come in to separate them, as I think it's now their job to protect him, and so they go to subdue the owl beast, but King fights back. He wears them all down and blows a giant hole in the cage, allowing Ida to escape, and she runs around the room causing all sorts of chaos. No matter what King does, he can't get through to Ida, so in a moment of desperation, he does a supercharged squeak of rage. He brings Ida back from the Owlbeast mode as the coven heads return and stand between them. Powerless to stop them, Ida takes them all on anyway in an epic standoff showing her love for King. Get away from my son! King pleads with Ida to stop as the coven heads attack her, but she doesn't listen. She's outmatched and cornered, and as all hope seems lost, King yells out in a powerful voice, Stop! Suddenly, the coven heads all stop, seeming to listen to his command, and it's now that King starts to realize the true power he possesses. What seemed to only listen to the Collector is now under his complete control, as the power of King's voice doesn't simply destroy. With a cosmic power rivaling the Collector himself, we predict that a Titan can essentially speak its will, and that that's where these voice powers were leading all along. And the King might not actually be too far from the god that Lilith predicted, the baby Titan finally stacking up to the baby Collector. As much as I'd love to see Mama Ida go full beast mode against the Nine Coven Heads, I think this moment should belong to King. And unfortunately, she's still all feathery, so I don't think she'll get her powers back until the finale. But more on that in the next video, as we predict we'll use a secret weapon to get the Collector on our side. But until then, follow for the next part. And guys, we're so close, don't watch the leaks. My little sister's final for the future theory. To close it all off, Camilla and the Collector. The end of Thanks to Them was punctuated by Camilla finally joining our group and heading to the Demon Realm. This was a big step for her character, and she got a lot of much-needed development throughout the episode, so I don't think it was all for nothing. There's a reason Camilla is with us in the Demon Realm, and I think she's going to be instrumental in supporting our team and for the future. I originally said it was going to be something with Amity that would make Luz decide to stay in the Demon Realm, and that this was the certainty for the future that triggered her palisman to hatch. But given the new clip released on Disney Channel, I now believe it will be her mother instead that helps her to make this decision. Additionally, Camilla alone has the power to turn things in our favor in a big way as the perfect candidate for a much needed mother figure for the Collector. The introduction of the concept of multiple Collectors begs the question of the Collector's parents. Does he have parents? A family? He knows there were others like him, but he doesn't really seem to miss them, or at least doesn't on the outside. I think we're gonna get a look under that goofy chaotic mask and start to see pieces of the real Collector poke through. Someone who longs for a family just like anyone else, and that this could potentially be why he's so strongly clung on to King. He's been all alone for so long, and I think he might might just need some love, and maybe a little discipline. So far, all he has in terms of a parent is Mama Odalia, which is literally worse than just being alone, so I think what the Collector really needs right now is honestly just a proper mother. We predict that in a moment of confusion and conflict, the Collector will have the upper hand on everyone, putting our heroes in very serious danger, and it will be in this moment that Camilla instead shows him compassion, relinquishing control and hugging the little Enzo Gabrielle, giving him the mother he so desperately needed. And then when he acts up again, she slaps a construction glyph on her slipper and straight up- I I think part of the episode's conclusion will include the Collector joining our heroes and finally making things right with the curse and the Owl Beast, separating it from the sisters and setting it free, and giving them back their magic to kick some ass in the finale. But let me know what you think in the comments, cause honestly, I don't know man. Follow for our final video tonight before the episode, and thank you to everyone who didn't watch the leaks!